Hey guys, it's the How to Alone Podcast. I'm your host, as always, Stephen Henry. Down there, the big bear in charge, Mr. David Wayne. Oh, Papa Grizz. <laughs> Look at him go. All right. <laughs> Next to him, we got uh, Mr. Matt Williams. Hello. He's here. From, live from the garage. And then above him, the top as always, Amanda, the intern. Hello. Yeah. Matt's <laughs> in the gay garage. <laughs> the car hole. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, la dee da, Mr. French man. <laughs> you can't even park a Mini Cooper in there. No, there's just the there's just a regular sized door and then uh, a couple windows, but there's there's no parking in this garage. I is it AC? Is it temperature controlled? It it's dank. Yeah, it's not then. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dank. Um, yeah, mad dank. Yeah. <laughs> Because all these nugs I got for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before we really get going, uh, I, I'd like to implore y'all to subscribe to the podcast on YouTube yes. and or Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Helps a lot. Makes you awesome. You're okay. You're great. Yeah. How to Die Alone podcast. Because if you just say how to die alone, it'll take you straight to the suicide hotline stuff. Yeah. yeah. I still think okay. even if you put in how to die alone podcast, the suicide stuff comes up, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. On certain platforms, it does. Yeah, but it's not featured. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, hey, go to this instead. <laughs> yeah, it's not trying to redirect you. <laughs> it just takes you to the suicide help website. Yeah. Well, it just takes you to uh, indeed.com so you can upload your resume. It takes you to a wiki how for suicide. <laughs> <laughs> just really, it just, it's, it's like, uh, let me Google that for you. How to tie a noose. <laughs> just, just, a, for you. just a cartoon woman clawing at a noose. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, hello, Das. We have a new subscriber. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Good. Hey. On, on Twitch? Yeah, new follower. Sorry, on Twitch. No, still, whatever. Welcome. Hell yeah. Okay, glad you're here. <clears throat> so, uh, last night, instead of driving home to Ocala, I went on a date um, at this what place. What was his name? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> David. <laughs> Matt, no one, no one goes on dates with you. Shut up. <laughs> Especially in Pensacola. Yeah, what, what kind of fucking trailer track are you pulling out of the goddamn garbage really in there? Is that really a cow? Are you Some, going on dates with just, farm? You just hang a half-eaten sandwich out of your pocket and the first thing that came along. <laughs> Someone's risking the vid for homeless riding Reynolds. <laughs> Fuck you. It, fr- it was fried mullet. Yeah, it was fried mullet. <laughs> Oh, you're a real catch, huh? Yeah. Catch of the day. Right over the burning uh, trash can. She comes over, she's like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. She thought it was mullet, but she's like, God damn it, I got catfish by catfish again. <laughs> you told me it was grouper. Yeah. That's not snapper. Yeah, I, you said the same thing, ma'am. That's not fresh <laughs> snapper either. <laughs> Oh, so I got oh, I got cat snatched. Is that what? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Ew! I don't like that, baby. Sorry. You can tell because the whiskers. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, I could shove my whole fist in her mouth. So. And some, yeah, and it stung when she touched you. It was weird. It's like, I love your your vagina's Fu Manchu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you get it to go down the sides like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do that next yeah time. but it's real pencil thin like an old asian sensei where it's just like <laughs> three strands two on this side and then one down here the, the, the legend of pi may but it's, it's a pensacola woman looking like a magic carp vagina <laughs> Ew. It's got a little tassel that's like hi he uses splash attack <laughs> it was very so, effective would you go in pensacola to the mall or to the beach like, yeah, U- ufo crash site <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Par- a lot uh, of met her on Parlor, actually. You nice. did? No. Are you so- on Parlor? <laughs> no. Oh, actually, I did drive I by. I'm gonna kick you out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just their dating app. It's just say hi to Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just says, uh, "Yeah." When you first friend someone, it says, uh, "Message them and wave to them," and it's just, you know. You know. <laughs> It's just the arm yeah. like that. You're like, wait a minute. That's not yeah. a wave. <laughs> I'll goose step on over to your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our love isn't wrong. It's just Reich. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> probably their slogan. Yeah, exactly. You don't, yeah, Facebook you don't... is wrong. We're just right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the yeah it's like instead of instead of liking you write all the po- the posts every is other it, when i first heard parlor i thought it was like a gambling term but that's like parlay isn't it, it uh, well it's spelled like parlay but yeah. it's pronounced like parlor because freedom prize right oh okay i <laughs> right. thought it was a parfait <laughs> No, no, a Jesus. I call them parfaits. Actually, there is a there's there's a lot more fruit in that parlor than you'd think. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's all they're all hidden in the closet though, deep, deep, dark down. Dark, yeah, or, deep or down. the garage. Yeah. <laughs> closet dang, peaches. Or a dang garage. <laughs> hey, I'm in the closet. Dirty dogs. <laughs> all right, so Matt, so where'd you go with this date? So yeah, we, we were on Tinder? Uh Bumble. Oh my god! So she messaged you first, you lucky dog. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. All I had oh, to do a is... sandwich hanging out his pocket. In the picture. <laughs> I am the snack. He's like, oh, <laughs> he fancies a nice prosciutto. <laughs> 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 what <laughs> type of meat? So, yeah. Well, I know that. <laughs> oh. All right. Anyway, so is um, Maddie. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thick. <laughs> Thick slice of Maddie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like a ham steak <laughs> yeah so so basically like, we we got into this like baiting one another back and forth like this competitive thing and there's a place downtown called uh play where you can play like ski ball air hockey uh basketball um arcade games or whatever so it's like a dave and busters yeah yeah it's kind of like that but more uh more of a dive more bar. pensacola yeah more pensacola <laughs> that, like a lot less disinfectant mm-hmm. uh, one would have at Dave and Buster's. Um, oh, yeah, so, stay at my house. <laughs> I wash my hands. Ugh. Like you open the door and there's a thick cloud of rust as you open. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not going to be here when you get here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, how do you think? How do you think it went? Because, like, I, again, it was it was a competitive. It was supposed to be a competitive night. How do you think it stacked up? I mean, well, played, what do you it mean was, competitive? Oh, like against what? each other in games? Yeah. So I mean, it was it was you dating, so I assume bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hold on. <laughs> so we did uh, air hockey. Questions. Hang on. All right. What time was the date? Um, supposed to be seven thirty, but she pushed it back to seven forty-five. All right. She's so winning by, already. So it was like eight. Um. <laughs> How Did old was she? Eat? Yeah, there you go. How old was she? 29. Okay. Did you guys eat first? How, no. How many drinks did you have? Throughout the night? Yeah. Yeah. I think four. Was she a Karen? No. No, she wasn't. Mm. She was actually nice. <laughs> How tall was she? Five, seven. What's getting interesting? So, yeah. The tall, yeah. It's like either I like really tall or very, very short. So small. Like so, Wait, what, so five seven is very tall. The average is five four for women. I'm an Amazon. Yeah. So that's how that's tall are you, Amanda? Amanda? I'm how six. How tall are you? Five six. Seven. Uh, Amanda. Five seven. Uh, yeah, you're, you're almost supermodel height. You gotta be five eight. <laughs> She's our supermodel. One more. <laughs> I, I like that on this podcast we educate her about being a woman <laughs> <laughs> it's on brand yeah it was. <laughs> listen amanda there's You're some things you gotta know <laughs> yeah. and, and, and why it's problematic yeah look i know you're a woman and all let me tell you about being a woman all right even though i'm not one i've never been one but let me tell you about it. i started out as one but then i graduated and became a man you know? yeah during the whole, you know, gestation process. <laughs> no, during the baking process. Yeah. Southern by the grace of God. All all, all right. fetuses are girls, and then they they become men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then they get the anyway. wolf, in hormones. Hormones. Um, and then right. you come out, and the doctor's like, "Too much, man. They snip a little off." <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the wrong end. I don't think cord. I could do that. What? Sniff an umbilical cord. Well, thankfully you don't have to. You work with animals. No one's like, can you circumcise my cat? (laughs) (laughs) I want him to look like his dad. (laughs) (laughs) If I had a child, they can't do that, Stephen. She's not Jewish. They had to get a moil to come in, (laughs) (laughs) like a little cat with curly. (laughs) 
<laughs> this is like what they walk in is like meow 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 <laughs> they start it with a knife and then the cat has to go down and bite the rest off <laughs> oh. uh, god uh. and they save it they save the foreskin oh, i don't know did you know about that amanda what the I call I think it's like the Befima Mitza or something like that, where like the the moil will bite the foreskin off after cutting it. No, I did not know about that. It's, yeah. a, it's a ritual. There's been a bunch of kids, like babies, who got syphilis from fucking rabbis for that. I thought it was herpes. Herpes too. No, <laughs> that, recently, yeah. or like, talk about starting off on that. a bad foot. You know I mean? <laughs> 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 the, like my kid has syphilis. I was like, your kid's awesome. <laughs> You get fucks. Yeah, that's what I talk to like a southern person. I'm like, wait a minute, how old is he? Is he even old enough to have sex? <laughs> like, no, no, never mind. Is he banging the the daycare teacher? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking weird. I just bend her over that Fisher Price table. And... <laughs> <laughs> that circle goes in the circle. <laughs> Pulls up on his trike, <laughs> want to ride, smacks her on the ass. We're oh, learning my. about sharing today. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, so pulls, he pulls up on a trike and then high fives her ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll my problem, it. child. Yeah, I was just thinking of like like the square, like the the triangle and the triangle, but he's sitting there with the hammer, like mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to triangle her pussy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> How come Davy always gets extra apple slices at snack time? <laughs> you gotta ask Mrs. Johnson about that. Gross. All right, so Matt, yeah. what game the kind of baby that puts his hands behind his head when he gets yeah. changed? <laughs> 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 Wearing like his Oshkosh Bagosh fucking overalls. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's got he's got a Capri Sun that's bitten in half like a toothpick, and he's just like, let me tell you the thing about women. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hand me my juice box. Um, Matt, all right, so what games y'all play again? What would you play first? The first one was air hockey. Okay, you played air hockey. Oh, that's now, an aggressive How many game. drinks in are you in? One. Why would you guys start on air hockey? That's such an aggressive yeah. start. Very aggressive. <laughs> I have a feeling like the day ended ball. after air hockey. <laughs> you, dom I've, you probably dominated her in air hockey. I was the only one playing with a stick. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just your hands you sticks your in hockey or air hockey? <laughs> you mean the little paddle thing? Was she just using her fucking knuckles? Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's like, remember Bloody Knuckles? I owned that game. And we're just like hitting the puck yeah. with her knuckles. <laughs> She's like, if I fill this table with enough blood, the puck won't slide. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she put it all in front of like the slit so it wouldn't go through. On the I'll table, do. right? In yeah. front of the slit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, that, that one was more It was uh, five to seven, actually. Did you win? Yeah, I did. Okay. So it was her height. I feel like this is made up. <laughs> no. These, are, these are repeating numbers, and I feel like this is a made up story now. It's a movie. It's all, all, right. it's all a simulation. It's a movie? Yeah. Just Picture Maddie and like his sleeves are just bursting as he's playing <laughs> fucking air hockey. It's like you don't need to go that hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got that vein on his forehead. She's like Jesus. Bulging. <laughs> he's flying off the table. <laughs> like he's fucking playing high light. <laughs> he starts yelling at her. You're not yeah. allowed. You're not allowed. He starts making up rules and shit. <laughs> I, uh, I get I a running of an air hockey rule. <laughs> I get a running start. No using your other hand <laughs> to stop the puck. <laughs> like yelling at her and shit. She knocks it off the table. I told you, can't hit it too hard. It'll fly off the table. She's like, Jesus Christ. Matt just flips the table with one hand. I'm just thinking of me. That, that's that shit I would do. <laughs> I, uh, like, I, there's rules here. We're living in a society. <laughs> I, I flip the table and it just like hovers away. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of air coming out that jewel. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, no. the first floating couch. Everybody pile on. <laughs> so yeah, I I won that one. Um, it was it was pretty close. There's a couple of own goals though. I'm not gonna lie. So now um, imagine you went to ski ball because you need like a the, yeah. Then we relax, did ski ball. Yeah, yeah. relaxed thing. <laughs> yeah, Maddie's doing. Like the, 
He's doing bank shots, like back and hitting it off the back. <laughs> <laughs> just like, he's like, he's like throwing it behind his back. Like, check this out. And like under his leg and shit. She's like, oh, I'm so impressed. It's Pensacola. She probably really was. She's yeah. like dripping at this point. No, she was like, wow, I've never seen anybody play ski ball overhand. <laughs> Bouncing off the glass for the prize booth. <laughs> I feel like this is just a brag for you to tell us how you dominated a woman. <laughs> no, I have a feeling she beat him in ski ball. She did. She, well, she beat me in the first game of ski ball. However, it wasn't confirmed because uh, I, I never saw her. <laughs> I didn't. I never saw her score. She just she said, never saw you score either. <laughs> How'd you never see her score? Would you just leave and go to the bathroom? Were you like fucking working out? You doing push ups to get ready? <laughs> Maddie was like, This is a WNBA. No one's watching this. Just walks out. <laughs> Every time she's shooting, he's on his phone, just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Keep it up. He's back to his phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. She's, she's like, why is, your, why is your phone say Fisher Price on it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like press a button. He goes, Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this no, is my we're, phone. We're playing, yeah. We're we're playing on two different ski ball, uh, ski ball. Oh, uh, you playing at the same time? Yeah. Oh, I guess you have. So to. it wasn't like shot to shot. Yeah, I guess you can't really do that on ski ball. Yeah, because you were just lining like all three up on your arm and just like flexing <laughs> them down, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just launch it off your bicep. <laughs> 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 It's like a shot put. He just puts it on his chin, spins. I was, a, I was like, 100, 100, 100, 100. Uh, yeah, see, Matt's was the end one. When she wasn't, she wasn't looking, he just went and dropped them all in. He was like uh, he was like the guy in Grandma's Boy. High score? Is that bad? Did I, did I break the game? Yeah. Well, she comes back from the bathroom. Matt's just standing there flexing. <laughs> See that? Check it out. I don't know. I don't know if you can read that or not, but if you look over there, you can see pretty much like, dominated you. <laughs> like I want to stuff bear for me. <laughs> Some stud named MTW MPW just shattered the high score. <laughs> oh, it's me. Why are you going on date five hours away from home? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? I'm trying to get Cause, laid because I live my life. Because it's so fun. Did you have a good time, Matt? Yeah, I had a great That's time. All that matters. What happened <laughs> after ski ball? Um, then we did basketball. Oh, Papa shot, right? Uh, what's that? No, they played one on one. Yeah, they like, played. Yeah, that's street ball. Half I mean, court. Like... <laughs> You're on the parking lot. They see a hoop. They're like, let's go. Yeah. She's she's on the ground with a bloody nose. She's like, that's a foul, goddamn. <laughs> Matt, we're playing prison rules, baby. Was, All right, you gotta guard like, your face. I'm backing like, down. Yeah, no, no charge, no charge. Your feet were moving. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's on her grass, throwing bows like Rodman and shit, just grabbing boards. <laughs> well, she was five seven, so she yeah. wasn't able to dunk. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. She could palm a basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's like, oh, basketball, do you want to play? She's like, I don't know. She, like, all of a sudden, like, changes into athletic gear and starts fucking, like, crossing you up. You're like, holy shit, what did I get into? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I was, you know, all state. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> spinning the ball on her finger. Take it. It's like, you Take know how hard this is to do on French tips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get another manicure, but fuck it, I'm about to destroy you, white boy. <laughs> I'm hoop up this bitch. Yeah. You pretty much went on a date with Lola Bunny. Uh, yeah. The yeah, young, the young hoop it. goddess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is she good at Papa Shot? I bet she won that because Matt, you, I've never seen you shoot a basketball, but I imagine it's not good. I yeah, it was no, I, I barely squeaked that one out. I won twenty four to twenty three. Oh, you did okay. Yeah, we'll see. Like I won by sheer volume and number of <laughs> shots. shots. You were like, if I throw up a thousand of these things fast, <laughs> yeah, eventually I'll start making them. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. So yeah. seriously, this whole story is about how you just beat a woman at games. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just wanted to tell us how he dominated a woman. Yeah, and then yeah, it's but like, then how do you? And then I went home and masturbated. <laughs> <laughs> matter faded. yeah so in other words uh don't play big big buck hunter after that because uh i killed all the animals on that game 
Sounds about right. She didn't get anything? She got one. <laughs> but I think I had 27. <laughs> Hey, Matt, you, you need to find a different first date. You don't go out and just die. You're supposed to like let them win in shit, Matt's like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, she was like, yeah, it was a fun date until he used an actual gun. <laughs> Again, it was another part, it was another parking lot game. Yeah. You are oh, God. I was like, I killed four rats, two possum. Yeah, Matt was played. like, there's a country music festival downtown. <laughs> Yeah, you play Big Buck Hunter. Let's go to the Marriott. <laughs> you played Big Buck Hunter in the showroom or in the game place. And then when you went to the parking lot, you played Big Dumpster Hunter. <laughs> really shooting raccoons and fucking. Did you bring that squirrel home for your dad? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like yeah, look, you make another hat. <laughs> <laughs> you can get some matching fur slippers now on the inside. <laughs> squirrel line slippers. That would be slippers. actually pretty nice. Oh yeah, squirrel first. It's my favorite yeah. Scott band, Squirrel Line Slippers. <laughs> uh, squirrel Nut Zippers. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there was okay. So there was something that I saw where Davy, you may be able to, uh, you may know what I'm talking about. But there's there's a lot of overlap between frat bros and military people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hundred percent. Right. And so the we, thing is, the thing is, the military people think they're like frat bros they're like right. frat bros but with no money they're poor right not poor but like you know what i mean right because there's this there's this like they're new... rich in freedom yeah because <laughs> they fight for our freedom and yeah stuff, you know by freedom i mean oil um so oh, yeah <laughs> right so i guess that like the new basically like the new douche uniform at least in pensacola i don't know where it is everybody else but it's it's a mustache with a hawaiian shirt and visible tattoos and that Never. like, yeah, that's that, like eighties. Yeah, basically like, Tom Selleck. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna like say Tom like kind Selleck. of like a Magnum PI look, and I, I like, and so I don't know who feeds into it more. If it like the military does it, and they all uniformly look like it, and they pull chicks, and then the frat bros go, oh well, they're doing it, so I'm gonna I do bet that. The frat or, probably did it first, to be honest with you. Well, the military, you can't grow facial hair beyond your lip. So that's why uh -huh. a lot of military guys have mustaches. Hmm. Yeah, they can't and have beards. I don't know where the Hawaiian shirt came from, but so it's Publix rules yeah. in the military. Were they wearing like yeah. really high shorts, <laughs> Matt? Matt, were they wearing like shorts above their knees? Yeah, and then have no. like usually like Sperry's on or some kind of boat shoe. Oh, yes, I like a boat shoe then. No, good to do. What? <laughs> yeah, a captain. I mean, it we wasn't every single one of them. Boat. Gross. Sorry. Yeah, Amanda, we it. would we would never fuck the same guys, Amanda. Yeah, gross. Dude. Have some fucking class over here. Tell you about how to be a woman, Amanda. All right, <laughs> you pick the right ones. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just uh, when I went to high school, every douchebag like wore that. They wore like duck head shorts above their knee, but they'd have like polos on, like a pink collared polo, no, sometimes I don't double like that. polo. And they'd wear Sperry's. And they'd have fucking croquis on their sunglasses. And I'm like, I want to punch all of you in your face. What's no, a croquis? You're dressing like your dad. You're 17. What the We've fuck gone over the croquis about? thing before. Yeah. Yeah, the croquis are just the things that go on your sunglasses, right? Like yeah. the... It holds it on. So uh, if it, like, falls okay. off your face when you're on the boat, it won't fall in the water. That's yeah, if they're wearing it. boat shoes, it's a better chance that they own a boat, so I'm going to shoot my shot because... I got you. Well, here's the thing. When I'm in high school, there's no 17-year-old kid that owns a boat. YouTube wasn't... But daddy might like have that. a boat. His parents own it. Exactly. I'll marry into that family. I want to get on the, the, the yacht, daddy. I want to take <laughs> I want to take out the lady. Amanda will play the long game. It's like, dad will die eventually. <laughs> my mom get that. that one. She was like talking about having grandkids and stuff. She's like, "You need to go hang out by the yacht club." I'm like, "Mom." <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice when they bring up or when we start talking about family or the will, Amanda perks up. It's real weird. <laughs> She's like, hmm? "Like, <laughs> listen, start leaning in a little more, trying to be a little bit more present." <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah, was going great. Up. Everything was going great until they found out she was an eighth Japanese. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> you gotta keep it on the down low. <laughs> like, sorry, we gotta let you go. We thought you were good with the German name, but no. <laughs> you were so I close. You all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, the the, the mole, Amanda the mole. <laughs> um, <laughs> Amanda I, sank every Amanda sank every ship in the harbor. <laughs> Torpedoed it. They're my people too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crappy half dead poinsettia <laughs> from grocery store just won't stop growing. <laughs> well, it's, not, it's not half dead then if it's growing. It survived yeah, three Christmases. I was, I was, I was like, that if movie. you bring that to my house, it will die. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was like, what? But it just won't. I was like, that's me. I'm crappy and half dead, but I won't. I just won't stop growing. It's my oh, journey. God. <laughs> I like the shrub, giant festive shrub. Shrub's such a funny word. Shrub. I don't want no shrubs. <laughs> oh, God. Ever seen a poinsettia this big? She's Hang on, poinsettia. Like that. Yeah, she I said hate it that wrong. so much. Uh, I've only seen this word written. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't... Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought they were orange. I thought it was poinsettia. Yeah, it's a preface. <laughs> No, it's a preface, you fucking moron. I hadn't until today. I'm Sarah Levitt with CBC News here to talk about this gigantic plant. I'm about uh, six foot one, so uh, with the girth. Oh, Montreal. Okay. They're Canadian, eh? I was wondering where the accent was from. I'm about six sense, foot so. one. This is like the newest like little shop of horrors. Yeah, <laughs> Audrey <laughs> three. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's, uh, he's Canadian. Feed me, Jacques. Feed me. <laughs> I want some syrup. It's a pretty big plant. <laughs> My wife brought this uh, poinsettia home uh, three years ago, and uh, I figured, Canadians. you know what, let's put it in a little pot and stick it outside for the summer. And the following fall, I brought it back in, brought it down here. It was only the size of maybe a basketball. So that he seems was overjoyed. <laughs> Yeah, wow. well, I mean, that's Canadian it's enthusiasm. It's so a country of Todd Berry. That's very yeah. true, actually. <laughs> yeah. The guy, yeah, the guy clearly is a former alcoholic yeah. that's not allowed to drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're from uh, Montreal, so unless the Canadians just won the Stanley Cup, they're not going to get excited. <laughs> He's like, you want, you, you want a Molson, a Molson N.A.? Yeah. <laughs> North American? <laughs> It, it just uh just drink it and just god just wait for death <laughs> and it, i was like i was just like <laughs> it's, it's just it's, this is a weird story it's like listen it was small and now it's big <laughs> they're, they're in canada matt nothing happens there do you know how plants <laughs> grow <laughs> it's not it's not hockey season they have to find shit to talk about in the news well, I like that he's disappointed that the plant didn't die. <laughs> it's like, I bought this fully expecting a dead plant within a year. He's like, hey, no, his wife bought it. He's like, my wife brought it home, so he's like, I didn't take care of that shit at all every time she went on the road. I'm tired to see it die. I'm tired, of this, I'm tired I, I, of this plant. I brought her to the cemetery, and I'm like, you see Jacques, Jacques' grave there? We didn't take care of him neither. And... <laughs> Just kept feeding them Labatt Blues. <laughs> you can't feed a Labatt Blue through a through a nipple on a bottle. You can't. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> they do syrup backs. That's where they do uh... <laughs> syrup backs. <laughs> the pickle backs. Oh my god! You pound a Labatt Blue within a shot of maple syrup right down the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we put we put chains on them like snow tires but weight them right down <laughs> came and went and last spring i put it outside again and put it in this really big pot <laughs> that's like his instagram feed is just this poinsettia but he's like he looks like fucking spaghetti from uh, Tim and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't wait for the for them to have sex in front of it for porn settias. <laughs> That's their OnlyFans page, man. Uh, the, they're only ferns. <laughs> yeah, only ferns. It is impressive. I am slightly impressed of the size. It's got such an impressive bush he does. Yeah, yeah Amanda's, a, Amanda's a shrub size queen. She's like, yeah. 
you don't want no shrubs unless it's a giant festival. <laughs> I, I can prune with that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't prune for that. <laughs> And the thing just exploded. Put some lights on it. We won't need a Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm just worried, like, will it get bigger? This was a little, little crappy half dead plant. That's something you never want your wife to Hold say. On, pause it. Will it get bigger? He cares. He cares way more about it than she does. I took yeah. that back. She's like, fuck this thing. I thought it was going to die. He's like, no, Joanne, we need to keep watering it. <laughs> you got Irish there, Davey. Yeah, well, you know, they're all mixed in candy. <laughs> they're all the, they're they white. They're they all... white. <laughs> Fifty shades of white. Well, go back to that lady's facial expression, oh. like as she's oh. Well, never mind. Weaker penis, but. <laughs> Do you want to read that one? Oh, no, weaker penis bones in river otters linked to oil sands. Contaminants. Contaminants. Contaminants and new study. <laughs> we got you, Jamie. Jesus, I'm just trying to like fumble through this thing. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Look at him. He's got like a sad penis bone and face full of powder. <laughs> it's, he's got snow on face his face. Full of powder. <laughs> he's got an any right now. It's yeah, so goddamn it's, cold outside. Is yeah, this see, another Canadian? He, yeah, the Canadian he's press. Northern, Northern Alberta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Al <laughs> yeah. Northern Alberta. I said Alberta. <laughs> the North will rise again. <laughs> See, look, the the <laughs> that otter's so upset. The otter's so upset that he he, he went to a life of cocaine. I mean, feel... otters have bones in their penises. Apparently, they have a penis bone or baculum, like Scott Baculum. <laughs> That's typically long, curvy, and slender. Yeah, that uh. <laughs> Yeah, you've never seen Bacula? <laughs> Baculum future? Bacula curved and slender in it? You say Baculum to the future? Hey, you settle down. That's a great movie. <laughs> Marty, it's, it's your parents. I need you gotta go back, to go. Marty. Your river otter's penis bone is brittle. <laughs> it's, it's your dad, Marty. His penis bone's <laughs> over. <laughs> It's I penis need bones all... to go and Google penis bone, otter penis bone right now. It's all, <laughs> it's, it's all bent like a fucking day old churro. <laughs> <laughs> it still have like cinnamon and sugar on it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Somehow it's not as hard as that though. It's weird. <laughs> the male river otter has a penis bone. Okay, we did that. It says the study says river otters are considered a cent centennial. Sentinel. Sentinel, what the hell is that species? Sentinel, like a watcher, like a like like canary in the coal mine sort of thing, baby. So they don't need them. What do you mean they don't need them? <laughs> they do. <laughs> this, this indicates the overall health of the the biosphere, like the space. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, if the otters are thriving. If the otter dick thriving. is sad, everyone's fucked. Like that's. <laughs> so it's like us with bees. Yeah, kind sure. of. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Brittle penis bones could impair the species' ability to reproduce. You think? No one wants to fuck with a brittle bone. It's like you ever tried having sex with a soft dick? Doesn't work. The, the, dick? the dick just like starts breaking like fucking glass from those movies. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a hyper intelligent wheelchair bound otter. <laughs> 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 yeah. He loses, he loses the ability to fuck, but he gains the ability to speak. <laughs> you can start talking now. I've learned your language. <laughs> Every river needs a prequel. Yeah. The heroes need an origin story, and I am that otter. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my erection scientist? Where's my erection? <laughs> Oh, wise river otter, please tell us what we need to do. This is what I love. The, with the help of the local trappers, they analyze their livers and their penis bones. So, like, the, the trappers are like holding them down and like. <laughs> He's like, we'll get to the bottom of why they're all dying. I'm sure <laughs> they, like... I'm sure they, you know, knocked them out or something. <laughs> yeah, with a river brick. No, the river otter <laughs> just puts his paws behind his head. 
Brick. <laughs> a river brick? You mean a rock man? What are you talking about? A river brick. Well, actually, that's <laughs> like, look they, at this river. It got a lot of river bricks on the water here. They, they put these river bricks to tempt Antifa. Yeah. <laughs> put a pallet of river bricks over. <laughs> That's what they have in Pensacola. They don't have yeah. real bricks. They're like, oh, they brought the river bricks out. Just some good stones. Yeah, just skipping stones. <laughs> George, <laughs> well, we Dora, dropping them out of helicopters. Yeah, it's dropping off river bricks. Yeah, Matt, you've been in fucking Pensacola too long. <laughs> it's, like I know, it's, been, it's been Thursday. It's, 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 no, Wednesday, excuse me. Since yeah. Thursday noon. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's been 84 years. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. like, Matt, it's been you've only been here eight hours, but it feels like <laughs> eighty four. Time <laughs> stops when you get to Pensacola. It is an hour behind. <laughs> just, yeah, and, Maddie, yeah. can you read this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do find for the most part that the River Autumn baculum is stronger, stiffer, and denser. <laughs> That's a low impact of those control sites. So in areas with usually lower levels of some of these hydrocarbons. Just the stronger, stiffer, and denser. They're like, this is a good otter, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so there is, well, I, there I just are think, people getting paid to touch otter dicks. Yeah. What's happening? Well, I, I'm just thinking of like... Uh, this thing's like a fucking F-14 control stick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, you, can, you can go first to reverse real hard in this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm losing the mice, man. <laughs> Stiff as a senior at prom, let me tell you, he is ready to go. <laughs> I'm just thinking of like an otter in bed with his otter wife, and she's like has her like little paw on his shoulder. It's like I, it's okay, I know it's the hydrocarbons. <laughs> it happens to all the otters. <laughs> Franklin, you're just getting older. It's okay. This is natural. Because I know it's the hydrocarbons. I know. He's sure. punching holes in the dam. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah he's pounding tiny claws and uh, <laughs> punching damn walls cheryl don't give me that shit again <laughs> you've been hanging out with that muskrat up the river haven't you <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not squeaking like you used to <laughs> Is Rodney making you squeak? <laughs> We're going shopping yeah. awfully a lot this week. <laughs> oh my god! It's a, yeah. It's, so yeah, because they. I wonder if they had anything like that. If they ever, if they measured the shrimp in the in the Gulf after the oil slicks, they're just like, yeah, they they, they, they got limper. <laughs> But they're measuring of, the shrimp dicks. Bunch of limp shrimp around here. The people in the Gulf area don't really care. No. Yeah. Only Canada. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they look at fucking like uh, this Cajun fucks look at like contaminants like it's Romalot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Creole baby Romalot. I oh BP add some seasoning to my gumbo did it. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say. <laughs> So, um, so, some football news uh, from your favorite sports podcast. Um, That's the, right. the Broncos are to face the Saints without QB Drew Locke and both backups after all were deemed high-risk mm -hmm. contact. So, the Broncos have no quarterbacks to play because they've all been uh, possibly exposed to COVID. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, they're probably That's amazing. postponing the game, aren't they? They usually postpone the game. Forfeit. Just kidding. I like this. <laughs> Can, wait, can just, they, yeah, have to can, forfeit. Can they forfeit? Is that allowed? Either that or just send like the kicker out. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> everybody <laughs> gets everybody. everybody get yeah, this is gonna be like everybody gets a snap day. Good news, Sergey. You got promoted this week. <laughs> <laughs> what? See, Simone? <laughs> I, just, I just finished a towel. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> I like that since Sergey and David made him Hispanic. Yeah, you know, shit happens. <laughs> uh, I, in my head, I was like, "No, he said he said the wrong name. It's supposed to be Hector." 
<laughs> yeah, David read between the lines. He's like, I know what you meant. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Gonzalez. <laughs> the guy out there laying the line chalk, and they're like, hey, uh, do you, how, how good are you throwing a ball? <laughs> Former just towel boy. You get to be quarterback until you, uh, until, until you miss. Yeah, former towel boy, Hector Gonzalez, who has been seen in the locker room throwing towels into the bins pretty accurately, by the way. It's a nice start <laughs> this week at quarterback. A tight spiral on his towel toss. <laughs> just got his iPod or ear pods in, just like, you know, dropping back, and the coaches are like, all right, they got a clipboard. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> He's like, why is my name on a locker? <laughs> he shows up. <laughs> You be. <laughs> that would suck, dude. Yeah, it's a, so there's like a constitutional crisis going on right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it means they forfeit. It's not the only bad football news. Um, the 49ers can't play at their stadium under new county restrictions. <laughs> what? It's too big of a place for them to be? There's too much open air at that stadium. Yeah, because open air is the enemy for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't get it. When you're outdoors, that's when you're at most risk. <laughs> yeah. Or safer in confined areas. <laughs> right. As it, you have to be six feet apart, no more, no less. 49ers are expected. Come on, so handle will move soon. Go team suspend activity. So they're oh, trying okay, to so. get an exemption. But basically, they're not allowed to play because, you know, they're not allowed to do group it's gatherings funny. with contact sports. Like, that's the whole thing. Well, it's yeah. California. I mean, they, you know, they're pretty uh, ahead of the curve, if you will. They would not be able to play games or have practices where they have direct contact within the county. I mean, so, like, well, that's, that's why well, that's why the Raptors are the, coming to Tampa. The 49ers will have to play flag football or, like, laser tag or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it can't be flags because you can still touch it. That's within six feet. Yeah. It has some long ass flags. Just yeah, the like, like streamers on the a little streamers. Bit. <laughs> it's the San Francisco ribbon dancers. I was going to say the California Lasix. <laughs> They're like, look at that catch. And then the follow up period. Pirouette. 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 <laughs> they replace. To replace all the running backs with the fucking uh, Russian ballet company. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them twinkle toes across the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> they can break the tackle like a motherfucker. Yeah, they're running like Fred Flintstone bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Piro wetting into the end zone. Yeah. <laughs> Jete plie, I say. <laughs> what a beautiful pass from Hector Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> but the 49ers are going they're, they're playing football with a towel for some reason I don't know why. Fucking, fucking Hector makes the winning pass and they pour out a, a, a cooler of Tampico on his head Takata <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going was to say it was going to be a thing of fabuloso but, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that'd, that'd be dangerous you just pour chemicals on a person <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Turn him into Hispanic Joker. Yeah, are you trying to yeah. give him brittle, brittle, <laughs> yeah, brittle <bones>? dick? <laughs> do, do you want to know how I got these scars, Patron? <laughs> <laughs> Fabuloso. <laughs> me and my, me and my homeboy Otter here. We're gonna, <laughs> we're going to rearrange your smile. <laughs> yeah, the Otter brings in a Mexican to cuck his wife. <laughs> Oh my god, what the <laughs> you really wouldn't talk about cucking when the honor was broken dick. <laughs> we gotta bring Bro in a muskrat. Muskrat Sam comes down. <laughs> Broke dick honor. And, uh, it's a Jim Henson production. <laughs> it's like the Emmett whatever band. Yeah, the Emmett Otter Jug Jug Band <laughs> The Emmer Ot Emmett Otter <laughs> Cuck Band. <laughs> The bear comes in, just runs a train. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> My this dick ain't broken. <laughs> this is some good otter puss, B. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the cowboy hat on and the bar sunglasses. <laughs> He's got that snake choking people. 
It tastes like wood. Why does, it, why does her pussy taste like wood? <laughs> Look, it's been a while, and you know Gerald's dick doesn't work anymore, and I had to use sticks from the dam. It's getting me splinters on my tongue. <laughs> An otter masturbating with a fucking stick. How did we get to this? Shit? I have no idea. Well, Ridiculous. Oh my god. Let's get to some bad news. Oh no. The amp- ammo shortage makes holiday gift giving difficult. Because <laughs> yeah, you know everyone, this the hot item this Christmas is ammo. I mean, that's what I was. Remember back in the everyone. day, it was tickle me Elmo. <laughs> now it's ammo. Get your kid some nine mil bullets. <laughs> Getting shot, or in other words, the southern tickle. Yeah. I was going to say you can still tickle people with ammo. Yeah, that's how we played uh, laser tag in the south. <laughs> We didn't have no fucking. You put like a vest on with like a light. What is that garbage? Yeah, I'll put this red beam on you, all right. (laughs) Just a flesh wound. Walk it off. Hit you in the fucking arm, you pussy. (laughs) Everyone's looking for what's under the tree. Look what's on top of it. I got a bead on this motherfucker. (laughs) Just, just that guy on top of the tree, like an angel, just scoped in. Angel of death. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I built a blind on the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta thin out the herd. <laughs> the, the opening line is just priceless. Gun shop owners say that despite guns often being a high demand gift, one thing is different this year. There's an ammunition shortage. <laughs> is this also in Canada? No, this is in Collier County, Florida. Oh, okay. I don't have guns in Canada. Yeah, not really. My, my I mean, ex got arrested. I mean, Canada. you can have like, show, I mean, they have like hunting and shit, of course, but. But here's the thing with the ammo shit, it's like, how much do you need though? Like, what do you mean? I mean, all well, of like, it. It's with every yeah. gun and every what I'm ammo. Saying is, all of it. If, like, let's say you don't, if you just need some to protect yourself, obviously, which is why you got a gun in the first place, then but, you don't need much. Not always. But it's just when you go to the range. <laughs> Steven's about to go off. <laughs> hey, listen, if you if listen, 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 listen here, David, 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 if you don't buy the ammo, they're buying the ammo, and Let, they are the problem, not you. Listen here, God given right and your responsibility to make sure that they don't get it. Listen here, David. These these communists voted in the demon rats, and they're going to no, take away. <laughs> they're going to take away all the guns. I'm just saying, if you had, I mean, what a, a box of nine mil is what like uh, uh, comes in a pack of fifty. I mean, if you're buying uh, full metal jackets, 50s standard, yes. Okay. And a clip generally holds anywhere a mag. between. Sorry, a magazine holds <laughs> anywhere between. Um, well, if you're it? talking about nine mil, a mag can five hold to like eighteen. What nine mil holds five rounds, David? Like, they usually oh, start at about ten. If it's, <laughs> All right. Wait, if it's a box of fifty, was- I assume twenty-five. <laughs> We could only get five into my um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, gun. <laughs> yeah. Those and tight that, virgin magazines. <laughs> yeah, that's, it was. that's with practice. <laughs> it yeah, was. You got to ease in the other five. <laughs> I have tight magazines. I you got to put on some Luther Vandross and start feeding that ammo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just relax. Just relax. <laughs> She's the only one at the range with a candle going. <laughs> That's why you got to give a little snap at the end. Just get a little little pop. Why is Lane Seven's light out? Look. All right, we're trying to set the mood over here. Got the magazine on a pillow. <laughs> we'll see. Like, or you could just do the. You just do my math and just sneak up on it. Yeah. Is that your method, Matt? Yeah. What are you confessing yeah. to? That's what you do. I... Is you get yourself a rag and you put some needle <laughs> form on it. And then you sneak up on them. <laughs> Man, I don't think that's how you do it. It works for me. <laughs> then, then boom, five in the chamber. <laughs> I learned everything I needed to know from famous clean comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's like, with a few minor adjustments, that's how you turn one gun into five guns. <laughs> <laughs> so, gonna stop these guns from breeding. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, no, well, I'm just saying, so what, what I'm saying is that, like, if you get a box of 50, that's Wait, five, no. Or five wait, that, magazines. That, no, probably. this is ending ominously. In case something crazy happens, I'll leave it at that. 
Yeah, yeah. Miss, Mr. Garrison said. <laughs> Mr. Garrison. <laughs> Good old Mr. G. Hey, yeah. In case something crazy happens, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I will fuck them to death. <laughs> No, I will physically have sex with them until their soul leaves their body. <laughs> yeah, but... The guy's like, where my country gone? <laughs> <laughs> where my country gone? Yeah. But th- this is great. Did you not see this part, Matt? No. So yeah, I just on the, seven, uh, the street 75th bunker in Morgan Firearms, owner Gary Garrison finding uh, what? Finding the ammo is about knowing I'm just where saying to look. he there's they're missing a word. It should be said finding or anyway. Yeah. Finding the ammo is about knowing where to look. Ace journalism from Wink News. <laughs> <laughs> know where to look. They've yeah, got like Wink Oregon. Like what the fuck? <laughs> they've got to find it. I'm not leaving my secrets out. Sorry. He said laughing. Uh, sorry about your no ammo problem <laughs> yeah wait till I'm not leaving my secrets out what the fuck does that mean yeah wait till they- looks like everyone but me is defenseless <laughs> i'm not sorry, telling them you- i'm not telling them about the stump in the woods <laughs> you don't know about my wood stump yeah, same <laughs> spot I used to hide my porno mags. That's exactly, exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> You'll find that there'll be a ring of broken dick otters next to it. <laughs> a little army of broken dick otters. <laughs> yeah, you want, I may be a nice broken dick otter necklace. You, wanna... you should see see uh, otters like like, like flicking their penis back and forth, <laughs> just smoking cigarettes and weeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when you're just going, yeah. I wish I had a clam right now. <laughs> Put it in the armpit. Look, just sad kill, fucking yeah. otters. You make a you make a you make a necklace out of the bones because they're brittle brittle enough to be malleable. So you can like bend them into yeah. a You can bend it like a glow stick necklace. Yeah. You gotta crack it. Now it's lit and light up. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda does not question. like this episode. <laughs> oh no, I am Googling um otter penis necklaces and they exist and everyone's getting one for Christmas. <laughs> I told you. Hell yeah. Bro. Look, I know how <laughs> yet I right? can't def- yet I can't defend myself in America because everybody's because <laughs> the demon rats took my guns. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any ammo, sir. What do you have to barter? I have um <laughs> I have a broke dick otter necklace. <laughs> I have depression. I'm getting you this and you're opening it in front of your family on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> For I'm our audio listeners, it says uh, child labor doesn't have to be exploitation. It gave me life skills. <laughs> uh, okay. Growing up in Africa taught me to be self-reliant and resilient. Putting children to work must be seen in local context. This is a fucking like Bill Gates article. Like who 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 wrote this? Well, Elizabeth Sabale. I assume that's how it's pronounced. I did see. Yeah, go back up. It says Bill and Miranda Gates. Yeah, they sponsored this. Got it. Okay. And then they're walking with these buckets over their head. Age eight, Tiamboli, <laughs> now I don't know how to say words, Tiamble. would walk with her fam- her mother every day to fetch water on her two K- uh, kilometer return journey in 30 Celsius heat. I don't know what that means. I live in freedom. <laughs> she, would carry, she would carry 20 liters in an aluminum bucket on her head. So she's probably short, too. Yeah. 30 Celsius is like 90 degrees, I think. Yeah. And I think a kilometer is like, what, 2.2 miles? Something like that. After the main and only meal of the day, Tayamba, meaning we have started in Chishua, the national language of Malawi. It's like fucking reading Star Wars. In southeastern Africa, (laughs) would take care of her baby sister. Is that where George Lucas came up with a story? He did like a missionary in Africa. (laughs) (laughs) And was like, you know what? These town names have a nice ring to them. It's like, why... Why are all the cantinas so sad? There's no music. <laughs> <laughs> One guy can deliver a misa done with a 
digging up ground and they're like oh i got jar jar banks <laughs> this, right this little six-year-old comes over misa done with work for the day <laughs> <laughs> so horrible <laughs> that's him walking into his hut and uh finding out he's getting cocked <laughs> <laughs> Misa done with, with work the <gasps> June June. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to watch Star Wars now. <laughs> Misa getting so angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's how he came up with it. And then like the head guy of you know wherever he was staying, like the so, grandpa is Yoda. He just talked in like weird. So that young girl was me through a Western lens. Some may view my experience as child labor. To me, I was learning life skills. What I want to point out is Tyamboli is her name here, and then now she's Elizabeth. Huh. She got yeah. Americanized. Yeah. The, Did she get yeah. adopted or something? Is that why? I have no idea. Uh, Did she move to America? Where do you draw the line between what is internationally deemed a crime and a natural process of transferring skills? <laughs> Not look at this little kid. They got a picture of a kid who's like three years old, maybe. Like breaking rocks. Up. Yeah. Yeah, he's breaking up fucking uh, river bricks. It's crazy. Wait, you know when you're an adult, you'll have to learn how to carry uh, buckets of water and harvest diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's no way you can learn that when you're too old like (laughs) smuggling it out through an orifice the the thing is like do these kids even go to school you can't teach an 18 year old how to do these things (laughs) 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 they have to learn young i mean my grandma was a teenager when she was picking pineapples in the field yeah a teenager but she still went to school for a while though right um, that, that wasn't the only thing she was doing, right? That was also, I mean, that's she worked in the pineapple fields. In the pineapple <laughs> fields, Hawaii? Was Hawaii? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's that. that I mean, needle. it was probably the '30s or '40s. Pineapple so. fields forever. Forever. <laughs> yes. Pineapple fields are rough. That was my buddy uh, on my dart team. That was his first job. <laughs> you know what's crazy is they, is they grow their plants. I thought they grew on trees. Now, no. I, I got to tell you another another woman fact you might not know, Amanda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently, for a long while, it was illegal for women to consume pineapple in Hawaii. I did know that, actually. <laughs> Which is oh. insane. Yeah. <laughs> because that, your grandma's insane. out there harvesting a food she couldn't eat. But she can't eat, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people work for like in, in counties or you know neighborhoods they can't live in. So yeah, yeah. Like, makes like sense. Pig, it's like pigs not being able to eat their truffle. Yeah, I mean, like because they, good, good they're job not com- allowed to live there. Good job comparing <laughs> <laughs> fucking Amanda's grandma to a pig. <laughs> I was about to say what? No, that was Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it says, our, chil- our children should not be so taught as to despise labor, he wrote in a weekly journal. There's no in reason 1921, why... see? Yeah. There's so no reason I mean, that was why... Happening back then. There's no reason why a peasant's son, after having gone to school, should become useless as he does become as an agricultural labor. What? I don't, I don't get it either. Because he didn't go to school, he's useless. Well, no, okay. because after he went to school, he should come home and tend the fields. Yeah. And then go to school. I mean, if you live like in a you know field tending state, sure. Well, it's Africa, so. Well, I mean, you can also do work so you don't die. I mean, there's a difference between, like, I don't know if they're like, (laughs) she's not manufacturing the water for an at like, I don't know, like. The natural spring water for them to sell from Fiji or whatever. Well, here's yeah. the thing. If you're, like, if you're like getting water as part of your daily chores, like, yeah. 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 And, well, that's the thing. When you hear child labor, you instantly think of like, you know, diamond mines and fucking horrible shit. But like, well, you do think they of have it kids, as... do they have kids working at like, uh, you know, restaurants and shit there? Is your server like a, a 10 year old? Here's, <laughs> here's the thing people, people think about like, labor is exploitative because labor is exploitative chores are not because they're necessary for the functioning of the house yeah. and you don't call them that yeah you don't call them labor but are they getting paid <laughs> you're getting I mean, paid they're, getting, they're getting paid they're in food and shelter <laughs> right that's a chore that's a chore but that's right. what i'm saying like as long as you're doing it just sufficient enough to keep the household going i think that's fair but i think if they're out there all day in the field so that mom and dad can sell crops 
<laughs> like it starts to get a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're also doing school. It's like, good job at school, son. Pick up that hoe. Like, we're going to the field. Yeah, all they gotta do is listen to that Kenny Chesney song and get themselves an international harvester. <laughs> I don't know. Number one reason to have children is so I don't have to do laundry and dishes anymore. Yeah. Well, that's why back in the day they would have like fucking 20 kids so they could yeah. be like all these little workers we get for free. Why don't you just get subs, Amanda? <laughs> service. <I tried. laughs> get service subs. <laughs> yeah, get some hobbies. <laughs> yeah, some pa- patriotic sandwiches. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Got another cheap ass sub again. <laughs> Meat's falling out of it. <laughs> oh, Meat everywhere. Yeah. Wow, this is white. Yeah, you are. You are white. Oh, there it is. Well, that's a little bit better. And block the light, man. Blanco Gigante. <laughs> you need a diffuser. <laughs> oh, that, okay. Got it. Diffuse that sunlight. Yeah, if you get a diffuser, it will block it out a little. What are you throwing gang signs? Yeah. <laughs> Pico 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 sun? <laughs> Pico 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 what? Picola what? Picola who? Oh, there's a little light. Hold on, let me see if that. Did you get the video? A little bit. TV? Oh, I did. I'm going to open one of them. I know we're running long. Yeah, we're running long. But we're at now we're on Twitch, so. Ooh. Oh, that's true. I'm going to go ahead started, and share the screen. Started a wee bit early. Can you all see? Ye. Uh, I'd see blank. Oh, there it is. Free. <laughs> all right. Is this guy right. going to fucking fix a ramen? Is he going to Maybe. Put ramen on? This guy took a, it looked like a wooden cross that had, you know, Jesus hung up, uh-huh. you know, as you do, and they took, they took Jesus, Jesus off off the cross, uh-huh. and then added a bungee cord to it, <laughs> tied it to his ankles, which, as you know, were together because they stapled or stapled. They wanted to save on nails. Yeah, they yeah. used one nail, and then so it looked like he was bungee jumping <laughs> off of a cross. That's hilarious. <laughs> But they yeah, said but they... Bunge Jesus. Is the <laughs> I, I read that as Bung Jesus. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Bung Jesus. <laughs> Bung Jesus. <laughs> 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 instead of cow it's go to it's Godabunga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Crying at these videos, and Scott did not understand why they're so funny. <laughs> Either way, that shit should be in a goddamn museum oh somewhere. Oh, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> yeah. Plus, plus the Jackass oh, theme music by the Minutemen making yeah. an appearance. <laughs> like that automatically makes it go. Oh boy, Steve, did you download these? Yeah, I, I sent them to. Oh. They were on my of, phone. Of, well, of course they're TikToks. They're from Amanda. I know. Oh, yeah, they're they're Blake Blorks. <laughs> black black blocks. Nice single bedroom apartment. I like it. But you don't Look know the that. Gas can in the corner. Look at that thing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I bet that wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. <laughs> what it is? It says uh. <laughs> On the TikTok, it says how John Wick gets a snack, and it's a guy in a suit, and he comes rolling into the frame, into the kitchen, and then, like, opens his refrigerator after smashing into it, and I guess the door, you know how they have that little piece that holds the condiments into the door? Well, that broke, and all the shit <laughs> fell out onto the floor. <laughs> Yeah, the the oh. facial expression expression said that wasn't supposed. Yeah, to Yeah, that wasn't planned, but the rest of it was, which is kind of funny. So funny. Yeah, you That's never planned. You never plan to break a condiment, <laughs> <laughs> or do you? It just happens. 
No, you poke you holes in them. You get ketchup <laughs> everywhere. <Yeah. laughs> no, ketchup and mayonnaise. You can't mix them. <laughs> oh God! Is the fancy make sauce? some fancy sauce? That's, right. <laughs> that's my fancy sauce. All right, let's that's why we. That's okay. why we named our. That's why we named our daughter Fancy. Gross. <laughs> it do a fancy fans. You guys ready for this one? Yeah. I want to see pupper toys. Oh yeah. Our chew toys. All right. Let's see what the family's up to this morning, day after Thanksgiving. Let's see. Queen's oh, this is a problem. Yeah, there's my little girl. I Got a nice little bone. On. Oh, crap. You guys are playing Monopoly? They're playing Monopoly down there. Who's winning? Papa is? I'm just trying nice. to... Nice. Good going, Pops. <laughs> oh, my God. How's it going, Dad? Relatives. Oh, my two boys. <laughs> Where's Mom? Mom's out in the garage? Oh, God. Is she hanging from a rafters? I swear to God. <laughs> it's by Jesus. God dang it. <laughs> Quit this. I thought you learned the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Why? My, Mike is still clearly coping. <laughs> yeah, he's going through. We all cope in our own way. <laughs> he's going through it, dude. You like, can cope all... your own way. That's yeah. so horrible, dude. See, and look, that guy had an entire like two story, three bedroom house to himself. That was probably his parents. <laughs> so it's better yeah, than right. being John Wick. You just need dead parents. <laughs> Audio listeners, what happened was you opened on a guy who's like hanging out with the family. Hang, and- hang on, real quick, Davey. Dead parent society. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jumps on a desk and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Captain, my Captain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Dead Mom, my Dead Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy is like walking through his house, and he's like, uh, let's see what the family's doing after Thanksgiving. He walks by like a dog bed that has a picture of a, obviously a dead dog on it. So you're like, oh, okay. Then you go downstairs, they're playing Monopoly. There is a, um, uh, a picture of I guess his father, a grandpa with an urn. Then there's another photo of his father. Then there's another <laughs> with, photo of with a with another urn. One he live dog. The grandpa. <laughs> yeah, he kept he kept one dog alive. And then he goes out to the garage to find mom. And there's like a lit cigarette and another picture of her. Like everyone's dead but one dog in him. Yeah. Which is, oh my god. Which is appropriate after the John Wick video. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know where I'm at on TikTok? <laughs> yeah. I'm on the dark side of TikTok. Have you seen? <laughs> All right. Now we'll talk about that after, but never mind. You guys got anything to plug? All their names were Daisy. <laughs> uh, what do I have? What do you have, Davey? What, what, what do you got? What do you got? What are you going to have? Mm. Boner dicks. Mm. All right, dude. Come on. My calendar's not working. There it goes. It's because it's so full. No, huh. that's not it at all. I have nothing, so not till January. Hell yeah, bro. Nice. Okay. Um, your show, Stevie. <laughs> well, I have a very confusing to promote show, so this is going to be fun. Um, December 11th at midnight, which is technically December 12th at midnight for anyone who understands time, <laughs> I'll, I'll be doing a show at Spitfire. It's very weird to promote it this way, but like th- this is a reality. It's not going to be Friday morning at midnight. It's going to be Friday night, technically Saturday morning at, at midnight. My brain does not work like that. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Steven's trying to explain it to you. Yeah. Steven, no. Steven, talk slower. <laughs> she, can, <laughs> she can only pay 73% attention. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I give her a little more because she is like one eighth Japanese. So. <laughs> well, so she's better with the math. That just means I can, no, yeah, I can do so math she's a, and tennis so better. She's slightly smarter than the average woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow, I'm joking. Yeah, come on. now that now it's offensive. Uh, you know this, why I don't come to your shows anymore? This is when number three bursts into the clothes. <laughs> no, she's sleeping. <laughs> Screaming, like, listen here. <laughs> no. Well, that's why it's a joke, is because you know she she's a nurse. She makes all the money. I'm just, you know, I do this shit. So. All of the money, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> not up, some David. of the money. Uh, all the money. 
<laughs> um, also, uh, December 19th, I'll be with the bro, as far as I know, at Crazy Cup Cafe. All Ks. Um, what? That's not good. Crazy Cup Cafe? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's a cafe at Crazy Cup. <laughs> December 19th. Crazy yeah. The the Mormon coffee shop. I'll be doing clean comedy with the the bro the bro in charge. Head bro in charge. Head bro in charge. Oh. Uh December twenty third, I'll be featuring at a place called Barrel Two Three Nine in Winter Haven. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. And then uh December twenty seventh, I will be hosting at Bay Cannon Beer in Tampa. Nice. And that's it. Oh, wheel of torture. Wheel of torture. <laughs> wheel. Buy your tickets ahead of time so we know who's coming. Oh, on stage. Somebody will be. Yeah. So that's uh, January 24th. Tickets at sidesplitterscomedy.com. Get your tickets now, please. Uh, Davey's going to be competing against Ricky Hicken. It's going to be great. The shirt's coming off. It's really anyone's game. Uh, Davey versus Ricky. Sure. Yeah. Uh, got Jander <laughs> against Natalie Perlin and Darcy Greco versus Jay Legend. Headliner Danny Bevins. It's going to be a great time. Nice. Hell yeah, I'm going to lose to Ricky and then watch me have to get tortured, essentially. Yeah, that's what you yeah. want, everybody. That is pretty much why I'm buying my ticket. <laughs> exactly. Don't, that's that's the... all them Japanese jokes? <laughs> like, can I, get a, mm-hmm. can I get a celebrity torture shot? And I can go up there like, <laughs> like, like, oh, I'm going to request to come up on stage. <laughs> yeah. You can be like, yeah. the dominator's going to be like, oh, what do you want to use? You're going to be like, I got my own. And you pull it off. She's got like the can, the, the cane the Sandman has in the Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> takes me off stage. No, it just hits you with it. Mm. <laughs> You're like the show's over, and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> this is not over until I swap this bear off the stage. <laughs> oh my god, she's got one of those electric saws with a dildo on it. She's gonna do. She's gonna do shibari. Oh, I've always wanted yeah. one of those. Oh my god, yeah. An electric so- saw with a dildo on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't watch enough porn, Davey. You don't know what that is. Or or Euro Trip. Yeah, yeah. The, lo- electric the Vanda Six <laughs> or a drill. Say the safe word. <laughs> the drill, okay, but what? Like a saw? Like a saw? It doesn't yeah. have the saw. No. Do you want to play a game? I know, but like how? I'm trying to like a like table this. saw. I'm so confused. Yeah, are you not familiar oh. with fuck machines? <laughs> Saws don't go like this. What the fuck are you talking about? You've, you've never sawed anything? Wait, how do you think yeah, trees like come down? Like a hand saw? Is that what you mean? <laughs> what do you no. think chainsaws do? They do the same thing. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I, so I watched this TikTok. I didn't share this. Do you guys know what it, the chainsaw was invented for? What? What? It chainsaw? Was, it was chainsaw. For, uh, oh, it's for... Um, what? This. <laughs> God damn it. It for, was for... Um, you guys aren't helping me. Women in hysteria. <laughs> uh, like hacking up limbs or some shit. It was for childbirth when the baby couldn't come out. They would use it was small, but it was a chainsaw, and they would cut part of the woman's pelvis out so that the child could come through. We need to bring that back. See, That's <laughs> okay, okay, disgusting. Okay. This happened until like <laughs> this wasn't like. Until like the eighties, I think. Until actual medicine was invented. Yeah, yeah. that's why no they call it anesthesia whatsoever. They just bite mm-hmm. down on rawhide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take a shot of, of James. Laudanum. <laughs> She's like, I can't oh, take the pain yeah. anymore. You have to knock me out, and he just like, like slugs her. <laughs> it's like okay you got some you. get those childbearing hips. Let me just slice them open. Yeah. Oh. Wake up with a black eye <laughs> and a baby. <laughs> Bur- burden that kid out of the side hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Wright joke. <laughs> what? Stephen, R- Stephen Wright says, uh, you know, Stephen he's got Wright- a joke about sawing a woman open <laughs> to get a baby. Out. No. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> get the baby out. He said, "He said I wasn't born natural. I was uh, I was born a cesarean. So he's like, it didn't really. He's like, it doesn't really affect me much. I don't notice a difference except when I leave a house, I go out the side window. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said, Steve. You're like, you come out the side. That's what reminded me of that. Sorry. Oh my god. All right. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Also hit that notification bell so you can get updated when we put out new content every week. Every Tuesday, Topical Depression. Every Wednesday, the podcast comes out. Audio is available on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, Spotify. Or you can watch another one of these videos. Maybe this one here. Thank you for watching.